Healing. Now, the shutdown has forced many event organizers to change their plans. Today, Wounded Warriors, their ride was supposed to end at the National Mall, but it had to be moved to the Aquaquan Regional Park. Richard Reeve is live in Northwest with more on that. Richard. Candace, this event was called the Cause Warrior Ride. It was supposed to be held here on the National Mall. You can see the barricades, though, here. And the shutdown forced the finish to be in Virginia. And some folks who were supposed to be taking part were missing today. It was a triumphant end of a 3,800-mile cross-country journey from Tacoma, Washington to D.C. feel great. I have never felt healthier. But for Daryl and Roseanne Mooney, this arrival is somewhat bittersweet. We were excited to end at the Washington Mall, obviously. We're from the West, and, and that just seemed like a, a really exciting place to end. But that didn't happen. We drove uh, 4,000 miles to find the doors closed. Because of the government shutdown, the Moonies, whose sponsors have raised nearly $100,000 to help wounded warriors, had to divert their destination from the closed National Mall to this park in Lorton. It was very meaningful to be able to ride into the mall. It was going to help us raise awareness of the needs and the issues that our wounded warriors and their families face. But that's not all. The group CAUSE, short for Comfort for America's Uniformed Services, which organized the ride, says 10 invited wounded warriors couldn't participate. Couldn't get them down here, um, as well as the trails that they would have needed to ride down here. Since the shutdown cut their funding for transportation from Walter Reed and Bethesda, they considered bicycling here, but needed trails were closed and an offer to bus the 10 people was rejected. They said it was too short of amount of time to get the right paperwork. All of which has left the Moonies and organizers proud of their accomplishment, but frustrated at the government. I think they're acting a little bit like third graders. <laughs> what is happening in Washington right now doesn't represent America, and we're really grateful to have done this. So pride and disappointment, two of the emotions expressed today. This was a pretty big deal. The Moonies went from coast to coast literally in 79 days. They raised about $100,000. They hope that the veterans can take part next year. Live from the National Mall, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. All right.